Can you tell us your name, please? Jason Cantwine. Jason, where do you live? Up in Ames. Okay. And what is your diagnosis, sir? I'm a quadriplegic. Okay. And how long have you been in your wheelchair? Thir four, 14 years. 14 years. Um, and do you use a local provider to service your equipment? I do. What does that relationship mean to you? Uh, having the equipment and the ability to call them spur of the moment when something breaks is very important. You know, without the without my wheelchair, I'm bed bound basically, and uh, um, just the personal relationship is very important. And what does the equipment mean to your independence? Well, it allows me to go to work, be out in the community. Um, you know, without without access to the equipment, you're basically looking at a nursing home or, you know, bed bound or whatever. So it's very important. And how do you feel about your freedom of choice to choose the equipment provider, the, the home care provider to take care of you? What does that mean to you? It's very important. There, um, while there's a limited number of names, um, I've built a relationship over the last 14 years with this company and, and I think it, you know, I can call them at spur of the moment, after hours, and they're always there for me. Is there, any, is there a situation that you could share with us that there might have been some sort of, uh, uh, like I know an, another gal I talked to her, like joystick went out and she was in the middle of her living room and she called on her provider and they came out to help her. Have you had any situations like that where you've really needed to call on them and they've been there? More than once, yes. Yes. Um, this is a tilt recline chair because of, I need to do pressure release to take the pressure off my lower extremities and I got stuck in the recline position and um, had to call them in order to come out and fix my chair. And it was after hours, but they came out. So so very, very important. Yeah, and it, without a local provider, you know, I would, be, I would be in a real bad place. I mean, I'd be stuck for a long period of time. Uh, the competitive bidding issue is going on right now where they are going to uh, limit access to, to patients because they're going to be eliminating some of the home care providers out there. Uh, and if you were going to go advocate in Washington today, what would you like to tell the senators and legis legislators about your concerns with that? The biggest concern is if these providers are, are gone, I'm going to be without access to the help I need when I need it. Um, my independence is very important and they provide a big support for that independence. Thank you.